today you guys get to meet Tater Tot, see some extreme shoveling, and we work on our SC300 and head to pull and save. <laughs> Here we are on our way to pull and save again. Got to go get a couple more parts. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Just going to pick up more parts. We're going to meet uh, my nephew Taylor on our way. And um, yeah, always exciting. Got to love going to uh, look at old crusty cars. Anywho. Well, here comes Tater Tot. Well, we are officially on our way to pull and save. I met him at a gas station. He lives out in the middle of nowhere. But, yeah. Yeah. That truck has been in the family forever. They've had that truck. He I got that from his grandpa. It's so cool. Old Ford diesel. Nice. It's got a Banks turbo on it. What? So... What? Wearing the super? You're gonna get it dirty. Hey, how's it going? Got him his snacky snack. Oh man. Snack snack. All right, we're leaving. So one of my favorite things about working on cars is the camaraderie. I especially get to spend the time with my nephew now. So my wife and I, um, a few years back, had a business, and essentially we worked non-stop. We worked from morning until 10 o'clock at night and if you owned a small business you know how that goes. Um, so when, when we decided to close our business and uh, we both ended up working from home, one of the big priorities was spending time with people and one of the ways I'm doing that is by working on all these different car projects and so I get to spend a lot of time with Taylor and um, other people that I didn't get to spend time with for several years, so we're taking this opportunity, working on some projects, and we really look forward to all the projects we have coming up, and we've really, uh, we've got a lot planned for this summer, uh, so we're looking forward to taking videos and bringing you guys along for the ride and kind of seeing what all we're doing, but um, yeah, again, oh, and this, this up here is insane, you guys have to see this guy, so we're just driving along on this road it's like a 40 mile an hour road out of nowhere he decides to run out and shovel in front of our car it doesn't look very bad from time lapse i'll try to slow it down so you can see it but there we are we are here Ooh. can't pick at these but what is this Oh, why can't because they're not ready yet they're taped and it is a 4g63 dang And we're back. There she is. So we were digging in the snow. Look what we found. The door panel. It's a little bit broached. Okay, a lot of bit broached. Uh, we found this piece in another spot. Now all we're missing is the vent, and then also um, the handle for the door. That's missing. Can't find it so far, but we're going to do that. And then that handle is broken. If you guys got one and want to sell it for a good price, I would gladly buy that. But yeah, we're, we're digging now. We're doing archaeology because we're finding more parts that we need. Kevin, they have a turbo bug. Kevin, another bug brother. So, super successful trip. We ended up getting that door panel that we found stuffed under another car under about six inches of snow. Uh, we ended up finding a trunk um, lock actuator as well as that um, 
other headlight we ended up snagging it just so we would have a matching set so I was gonna play this video at regular speed and then I realized how brutally painful it would be inside the one of the nuts that was on the headlight was just completely rounded off and flat and rusted and horrible so it ended up taking at least 30 lifetimes to get this thing off so uh, I decided to do the whole thing in time lapse and skip the other one so you guys don't even have to watch that um, I have a picture that I'll post up um, at the end of the video showing both of the headlights installed and see you next to the super that see in the super next to each other for the first time in the garage um, also make sure you check out the video where I show you how I restored those with the kit um, by Cerakote, super awesome, I'll put a link down below, but man, uh, what a bugger that headlight was. I, was, I spent so much time trying to get this, this is time lapse by like 15 times or something, and yeah, what a bummer that was. Um, but anyways, what do you guys think about us turboing the SC300 in a budget fashion? So in other words, not mega bucks trying to do an inexpensive build um, like the super standalone we'll just do a piggyback on this guy and then kind of see what we can't get out of a 200,000 mile automatic transmission SC300 um, let me know what you guys think but I think it's something we want to pursue and um, yeah see if you guys are interested in such a deal let me know and that's going to do it for this episode Make sure you like and subscribe.